Well, 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 the Chiefs once again add to their wide receiver room, but this time bring back a familiar face from last season in Justin Watson. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? Well, top of the morning to you. We have news, new news, as the Kelsey brothers would say, wide receiver news this morning. And no, the Chiefs did not do anything crazy like trade for D-Hop. Instead, they brought back familiar face, Justin Watson, that's right, the 27-year-old formerly drafted by the Bucks in the fifth round of the 2018 NFL Draft is now back with the Chiefs on a two-year deal, which was announced first by his agent and then reported everywhere else. Here's one, Ari Mirov said, the Chiefs are re-signing wide receiver Justin Watson to a two-year deal per his agent. Watson became a favorite of the Chiefs coaching staff early in camp and finished the year with a career-high 315 receiving yards. He then says that Watson could have an expanded role this season. So yeah, 315 yards is not a ton, but this is a depth signing, and while he played some special team snaps and he will be used as a depth piece, he had the third most wide receiver snaps on the team with 494 on offense, only behind Juju and MVS. And then just before hitting export, I saw Jeremy Fowler of ESPN report uh, some details on the Justin Watson contract. It's a two-year deal worth up to 3.5 million with 1.4 million guaranteed and 2.5 million in escalators slash incentives to potentially reach 6 million in total per source. Pete Sweeney of Arrowhead Pride said this one was a no-brainer. Justin Watson developed a nice rapport with Patrick Mahomes, led to career highs for the wide receiver in 2022. Regular season, he had 15 receptions for 315 yards and two touchdowns. One against uh, the Chargers, which I absolutely loved at the beginning of the season. In the playoffs, he had three receptions for 30 yards, including two Super Bowl 57 catches. So, with the addition of Richie James, or Rick James, as I like to call him last week. Never mind who you thought I was, I'm Rick James, bitch. And now Justin Watson, the roster now looks like this. You've got MVS, Kadarius Toney, Sky Moore, Richie James, Justin Watson, and then the others that'll be fighting for the roster is going to be Justin Ross, John Ross, Amir Smith, Marset, Cornell, Powell, and Jerry and Ely. And honestly, Richie James may not even be safe either. We'll have to see how all of that shakes out. So what now? Well, they're going to go into the draft, get a couple of receivers, probably one within the first few rounds, and uh, run it up. Now, could they still get D-Hop or something like that later? Yeah, I guess. They don't have a lot of money right now. $4.7 in cap space, and that's not including Richie James and his contract. And then this doesn't include Justin Watson's contract. And then they need a few million dollars for all the draft picks, so not a lot of room. I have a video coming out soon on a Chris Jones extension and just talking about what that could look like and kind of the history leading up to where we are now. And that's where they could create some cap space, but... Yeah, I just say all that to say the Chiefs don't have a lot of room to make a big splash signing. So they got this receiving core now. They're going to go into the draft, probably get a couple more wide receivers, and then maybe they'll sign a vet or make some other move after the draft. I like the Justin Watson signing. He's a depth piece, in my opinion. He's going to be getting reps and running a lot of routes on the offense. He did struggle later in the season with drops. It was like a few drops, actually, within like a two or three game span. But he kind of picked it up and... You know, he had his moments, so nothing crazy here, guys. Depth piece, uh, bringing back a familiar face that knows the system, and they liked him enough to bring him back on a two-year deal. So you guys got to let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Do you think this was a good signing from the Chiefs, or eh, or why did we bring this man back? What are the Chiefs even thinking? Well, in Veach, we trust. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see what the Chiefs do, if anything else, before the draft. And if not, we're going to see who they freaking draft. So until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Chiefs?